Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. What advice do you have for families that are separated over the holidays? It is extremely tough and we have everything from uh, families on different coasts to military families that are not with their loved ones to people that are separated due to jobs or very, for multiple reasons. And that is always harder. Um, and so sometimes everything from Skype or video conference calls where at least the person can be a part of the family for a short period of time. Again, particularly if there's a tradition that they love. The holidays can be especially difficult for those who have lost a family member in the past year. What advice do you have for those families? The death of a loved one the anniversary of the death of a loved one or the first set of holidays after the death of a loved one can be extremely difficult for families. And so the first step is to talk with other family members about how do you want to remember this person? How do you want to honor this person? How important it is keeping up a good sleep pattern? Making sure that you're getting regular sleep, good quality sleep, understanding how late night coffee after dessert might be interfering with your sleep or that nightcap um, of an alcoholic beverage that's going to interfere with sleep. So also being aware how changes in dietary patterns and things like that that tend to happen more often during the holiday season may also affect the quality of your sleep and it's quality that sometimes is much more important than quantity even. So making sure that you're getting good quality sleep is going to be a very important way to help take care of yourself during this holiday season.